I think year on year it continues to get better. And, you know, we get a lot of decent crowds um, to games and coverage on TV and the media and stuff has improved, but I think there's still a long way to go as well. My first Scotland cat was against Iceland um, in 2013, I think it was a friendly. I was actually a late call up and um, I managed to get on the pitch for like 20 minutes. We beat Iceland, I think it was 3 2, so it was quite a positive first cat. My first Scotland goal was against the Pero Islands. I think it was a World Cup qualifier, it was nothing special, it wasn't a great finish. I think it just like trickled in off the post. I fall over quite a lot. I was running and I tripped and uh, my ponytail got stuck in my shorts and I just got a bit stuck. I don't know how that happened, but yeah, I would say that was, that was oh, that's up there with being pretty, I was quite embarrassed with that. My dad's definitely way too active on Twitter at the moment. He keeps tweeting me and yeah, he's looking for free tickets. He's looking for free tickets, free stickers. So you know, if anyone wants to, you know, give to a good cause, you know, I can set you up or something. But yeah, no, he's definitely too lively. A bit embarrassing, but he's enjoying it. Obviously qualifying for the Euros uh, coming up, that was quite a, it's definitely up there with one of my favourite moments. Maybe the World Cup playoffs when we lost to Holland. I think we, we, had, we had quite a good chance. I think we're all quite disappointed with that. Some of us have been friends since we were like 11, so um, it's, we don't see each other that often now because we're all kind of playing in different places. But you know, when we come back to camp, it's great to like catch up and it's always pretty decent banter. <laughs>